Let's bring in the editor of Restoring America at the Washington Examiner, Kaylee McGee White, and Reform California Chairman Carl DeMaio. Uh, thank you both for coming on. I want to put this up. This is Corrine Jean-Pierre talking about the exceptional job the president is doing at the border. Watch. The president has done more to secure the border and to deal with this issue of immigration than anybody else. He really has. June saw the single largest month-to-month -month drop in lawful, unlawful border crossing because of the policies this president put in place. I mean, Kaylee, the media is not covering the border. The media is, I mean, the administration lying about they're not covering that either. No, not at all. And a big factor in this is not just the media's unwillingness to cover these illegal border crossings, but it's their unwillingness to actually hold the Biden administration to account when, for example, Alejandro Mayorkas insists before Congress multiple right. times that the border is secure. Where's the WAPO fact check on that claim? Where's the New York Times column denouncing that lie? You don't see it. And just now we're starting to see a little bit of pushback from the liberal media. And I'll tell you why that is. It's because there's an election next year and they yeah. see what this is doing to the polls. You know, it's interesting, Carl, because I want to play this video. This is of the migrants, the train. We played it a little bit earlier. This is a train load coming up from Mexico City. They're cheering. They know they're getting in. They know the border is wide open, Carl. And Kaylee's exactly right. You look for fact checks. There's nothing about Mallorca's time and time again saying the wrong thing or the the untruthful thing before Congress or any place else. You know, Trace, I think we also have to add in the question, why does Joe Biden, why are the Democrats promoting uh, human traffickers? That's really what this is. Uh, the people who are coming across have been uh, uh, basically given all these promises that they're going to get the, man, the land of milk and honey, that the welfare is flowing, that mm -hmm. Gavin Newsom is going to give them uh, all sorts of benefits and sanctuary. And of course, in exchange for six to $10,000 each, they pay the coyotes to get in. Um, they're breaking the law by coming across. They're lying. They're saying they're politically persecuted. They're trying to take advantage of our asylum system. And, and this is nothing more than human trafficking. If you take a look at the stats on young girls and young boys yep. and the amount of assault that occurs on, against the girls. They're recruiting these girls into the sex trade and the boys into drug trade. And it's very clear that the Biden administration right. doesn't have a plan to deal with this human, humanitarian crisis. Just in the last 72 hours, and Bill Malusian was in our city in San Diego right. on Friday and captured video of a Border Patrol agent, and I don't fault him, he's following the Biden administration's uh, edict. Yep. He told a migrant that he could go anywhere, that he's, quote, free to go. Bill played that uh, that video on Fox News on Friday in San Diego, and he said, even to Chicago? <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, who in yeah. the hell would want to go to Chicago as, as dangerous as it is? But the Border Patrol agent said, yes, yeah. you are free to go right. even to Chicago, and yet if, if uh, DeSantis and, or Abbott send someone to California, and I gotta oh, go. the hoot and hollering. Yeah, I want to put this up because here's Biden's approval on the border, and this is without the media covering it. Look at the numbers here. 32 percent approve, 64 percent disapprove. That is a big number when half the media or more than half the media is not even covering the topic. Absolutely. And it's ironic that it's taken this long for the Democratic mayors to speak out because the only reason, of course, that they're doing so is because now it's affecting their own funding and their own resources. Yeah. And that's the big thing here. Um, but, you know, Eric Adams has gotten a lot of attention in New York for drawing attention to this issue. And one of the interesting things that he said was that he doesn't think New York City can handle 10,000 migrants a month. You look at the stats that you put up earlier of how many migrants are flooding those southern border towns on a weekly basis. They are experiencing more than twice that every single week, Trace. Yep. Yep. It's a crisis. And experience it for decades. For decades upon decades, they have experienced this. Uh, Carl DeMaio, Kaylee McGee-White, thank you both for coming on. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Help us break through the censorship of the liberal media by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.